Hey, you two, what's up? Oh, not much. How about you, Kellen? Hey, why are you wet? Oh, Brandon just did something nice for me. Ah. Hey, you got a story for us? Yeah. I, I do. Then take it away. Woo. Thank you. <laughs> Well, today I have an amazing story about Jesus that I'd like to share. It gives us one of the most powerful examples of who Jesus is. But first, some backstory. For years, God's people had been waiting for a savior that God had promised, a Messiah, a king. When Jesus showed up performing miracles, the word got around that he was that promised king. So, when Jesus came riding into Jerusalem on a day that we now call Palm Sunday, the people shouted out, Hosanna! And honored Jesus like he was king. But, unlike most kings who want to come across all powerful and mighty, Jesus came to Jerusalem riding on the back of a donkey. A little clue to the kind of king Jesus intended to be. And that's where our story picks up today. And here to help tell it are the kids from... Kids Perspective! Jesus and his disciples had gathered together to take part in the Jewish tradition of Passover. It was a meal they would eat together to remember how God freed them from slavery hundreds of years earlier. Peter, pass me some of those bitter herbs, please. Here you go. Thank you. Can I have some too, Peter? Of course. Thank you, Peter. Of course. Now, when people would enter another person's house for a meal, a servant would often greet them. Coming! There were no doorbells back then, by the way. Ah, oh, so glad you can make it. Come in! Thank you for having me. Serve it! Yes, sir. Please prepare our guests for the feast. One of the duties of the house servant was to do something we're not familiar with. Clean the guests' feet. Oh my. Here goes. Gross. I mean, back then, people's feet would get dirty from sweat, dirt, and well, sometimes organic fertilizer. Needless to say, cleaning someone's feet was not something anyone rich or powerful would do. But when Jesus and his disciples had gathered together for the Passover feast, Jesus did something shocking. Uh, Peter, what's Jesus doing? I don't know. Looks like he's about to start cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that's weird. Yeah, Peter, say something. Lord, are, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus replied, you don't realize now what I am doing, but later on, you will understand. But Lord, you'll never wash my feet. And Jesus responded, unless I wash you, you can't share life with me. Then Lord, wash all of me. Jesus told Peter that he was going to wash his feet. And then Jesus washed every disciple's feet in the room. A king got on the ground and washed their dirty, stinky feet. Afterwards, Jesus said, do you understand what I have done for you? You call me Lord, and you're right. That is what I am. I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet. So you also should wash one another's feet. I have given you an example. You should do as I have done for you. Now, we don't know for sure how the disciples reacted when Jesus did this, but I bet it was something like, Whoa! The end. Give it up for our Kid Spective performers. Every time I hear this story, it blows my mind. Jesus, the Son of God, the Messiah, washed his disciples' feet. He had all the rights and all the power in heaven to demand that his disciples wash his feet. But he didn't. 
Instead, he showed his disciples that true leadership is humbly serving those around you, no matter who you are. That is an amazing story. Yeah, yeah, really uh, gets me thinking. <laughs> hey, glad I could help. Uh, thanks. See ya. So I got you thinking, huh? Yeah, I mean, Kellen's right. That story is mind-blowing. Jesus chose to serve his own followers hmm. and then told them to do the same? That, that, that is so upside down. I know what you mean. Nowadays, it seems like people in charge want to be served rather than serve. Yeah, well, you know what? Maybe I can do something about that. I, I, I'm going to let you be the waterer, and I'll take the fertilizing job. You don't back. have to do that. No, 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 no. I want to lead by example, and it's, it's the job I was given, so... Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go ahead and get prepared while you ask the question. All oh, right. Oh, you want me to do the thing by myself? Okay. Uh, reveal the question! When has someone put you first? Well, once when I was sick, my next door neighbor came over and mowed my lawn for me before he mowed his. Huh. I mean, that's a great example. Yeah. Uh, one time in school when I was younger, uh, somebody let me cut ahead of them in the lunch line so I could get the last piece of pizza. Oh, that's very cool. Mm -hmm. I'm not very humble when it comes to pizza. Yeah, but <laughs> you are when it comes to gardening. Well, I'm trying to be. You like my gardening outfit? <laughs> it has Matt suit. Oh, yeah. oh and, and a clothespin. Okay. For all the fertilizer. <laughs> all right, well, that is, that's one way to do, do it. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Do, do do it. Thank you. I did, did. Okay, that's all the time we have today. Until next time, I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And this was that's the so and so, so, so show. So. You sound way different. Uh, that's the price of power, baby. <laughs> <laughs> all right, one more little song to go to sleep. Simple, simple little flower. You'll grow as tall as a tower With your roots that run so deep Birds will fly and shout a peep Simple, simple little flower One day you'll grow as tall as a tower